my name is Sonali. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 2. I'm daily vlogging until December 25th, so subscribe, turn on your post notifications so you don't miss out on any videos. This morning I actually ran into some trouble with my blog. So I woke up to a comment saying that my blog wasn't working and I freaked out. And so I literally was up at 5 a.m. trying to call GoDaddy to get it fixed and thankfully they fixed it. I'm pretty sure it like fixed to an old backup and I had just posted my freaking gift guide vlog post and so I had to like redo all of it. So yeah, that was not fun. My friend is actually coming to visit me, my best friend from college. She was my roommate for one year in the sorority house. She's actually at grad school in Missouri. So she wanted to drive down to Florida because she has so much time off for the holiday. She's passing through Georgia and I was just like, please come visit me. Like I literally have not seen my college best friends in too freaking long. Like obviously because of like the whole COVID thing, we were trying to like plan to meet up and stuff, but it just never worked out because the COVID cases just kept getting higher and higher. And we're possibly going to go to the mill, which is like kind of a small hike. So I was like, okay, not working out this morning. And also like, I don't know if I told you guys this, but I fell down the wood stairs. And so this side of my back is like so sore, but I also have been doing arm workouts. So I'm hoping it's the arm workouts, but I'm pretty sure it's just cause like I fell down the stairs. I have a work call in a few minutes talking about some holiday campaigns. We're going over the final um, graphic. In yesterday's vlog, I shared the graphic that I animated. So that's gonna be super exciting just to see everyone's reaction. And then after that, I'm gonna eat a quick breakfast, my chocolate chip oatmeal cookies that are kind of healthy. They're like kind of vegan, I guess. Um, so those actually keep me really full. So I'm gonna go hop on my work call and I'll talk to you guys later. Wait, actually I wanted to show you guys my hair first before I go. Um, this is what it looks like after sleeping on it. I kind of just put it in a bun, but it looks so good. I remember I went to dry bar once and the blowout literally fell like that day. But this is like me sleeping on my hair and it's still pretty like, you know, like voluminous and like has that blowout look. I did my first impressions of the Dyson Airwrap um, in my vlog yesterday. So if you guys want to check it out, I'll link it down below. I don't know where the time went, but it is 12.30 or no, it's like 1. It's 1.30. What the frick? Um, the holiday campaign call went well. I had to actually make another animated graphic, but this one was easier. And like, they're both really easy, so it was actually really fun to do. But now I am starving and I have not bought groceries since I've been here. Um, and my dad doesn't really have anything because he's still at the beach house. So I found this in his pantry. I think I'm gonna try it. It's just, um, spiced seafood noodles so i don't know i hope it's not too spicy because i don't like love spicy stuff not super spicy so i mean like the spice that has flavor i like but sometimes when my dad makes indian food and he makes it so spicy it just like does not even taste like anything but like something that's like poison you know what i mean or like it doesn't even have a taste but it's just like you know it's gonna like burn your butthole later hopefully this one does not do that to me because I'm not trying to feel that way. Let's go find a bowl because I usually just put it in the microwave, but maybe I should do it in the pot. But I don't really want to do it in the pot, so maybe they'll have a bigger bowl. Let's see. All right, I'm gonna do a taste test. Hopefully I don't burn my tongue. Pretty good. I feel like the spice hits you a little after, but it's not that spicy. It's like a good spicy. It's really good actually. I think it needs like salt though, but maybe I'm just crazy because I just love salt. I feel like there's two types of people, like the one that pours salt on anything and then the one that just looks at the person that does that and they're like, are you crazy? Because Ryan always does that to me. He's like, are you okay? Like you do not need that much salt. I'm like, yeah, I do. <laughs> it's just something I need. Guess who's here? My bestie from college, this is Charlotte. We were roommates. Our junior year, <laughs> we lived in our <laughs> sorority <laughs> house. Right? Literally, it feels it like feels it. It feels like though. it's been forever. She's here, she's visiting me, and she's on her way to Florida 
for a couple months, two months, you said? Yeah, about two months. That's kind of crazy. It is crazy. Are you going to miss your shit? Because, like, I'm, I'm like, freaking yes. out that no. I'm here for one month. Yeah. So I feel like I would not be able to do two I months. had such a hard time packing. But at least you have your car. Because I don't have, like, my stuff. Well, here's the thing. My friends are coming to Florida at the end, and they're going to drive back with me. Oh, so, so you I pack your car. And yeah, that sucks. so I couldn't like stuff my car with stuff. Yikes! Well, I think I'm gonna take her to the mill. We're gonna do a little hike, see some fall leaves, and then probably come back here for a quick change, and then go to dinner. So we are at the mill. A lot of people take their senior photos here and like family photos. And fun fact, I'll try to find my senior pictures and put them in this vlog but I took some right there. I like just made my mom take it because I had a nice camera at the time and she just took them for me. So shout out to you mommy for taking my senior pictures. I was just telling Charlotte that it's pretty crazy that me and Ryan used to go swimming in this water. I think I still would go in it just because I love like playing in water, but it's so much like muddier than the waters in Austin, like the Barton Creek spillway. It's just like so much clearer. And like sometimes when I go in there, I'll see like algae and I'm like, oh, it's so gross. But like, this is disgusting. <laughs> and I used to swim in this shit and people still do. I mean, I still would. Me and Charlotte are at dinner right now. It's very dark, but we're at Ips and we got these giant garlic rolls. Dangerous. We ended up picking up wine on the way home. I honestly don't really like wine or red wine at least. I like the sweeter stuff, like my go-to is Moscato still. I know I'm literally still like a freshman in college, but Charlotte said I should try out this. It's Roscato and it's a red wine, but apparently it's sweet. So I'm gonna try something new today because I want to like wine. Like I wanna be like a cool person that drinks wine, but my taste buds say otherwise. We love a twist top, don't we? Yeah, more than that, I feel like I still pop out like opening corks. Oh my god, me and Charlotte. <laughs> Okay, so obviously we weren't supposed to drink at the sorority house. We had this wine wine bottle one time and we thought it was like a twist top, but obviously we didn't have like a wine corkscrew, I guess. And so <laughs> I wonder if I still have the video, but what did you use to like try to get it off or get the cork out? I swear you like, you were like, no, you were like, oh, if you heat it up, like the cork will come out. Yeah, Remember, so we tried to light it on fire. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Thing. Cheers. Being back together after I think so long. the last time we saw each other was last August during mock recruitment. What do you think? It kind of tastes like that Welch's sparkling juice, and I like yeah, it. It kind of does. <laughs> Why does I it taste sparkling? Like it it, it is sparkling. Oh, it is? I like that. Yeah. I kind of forgot about that, but that's why oh. it was in the sparkling session and I couldn't find it. Mm -hmm. Now we know. This is with the sparkly ones. It tastes just like juice. It's good. What's the percentage of alcohol on the shit? Let's see. Probably not. 7%. Percent. Yeah. It sucks because like the yummy ones never have the alcohol. Shocker. I asked you guys to ask us questions on my Instagram stories. So we're gonna go through some questions and answer them, you know? Just, I feel like me and Charlotte just haven't seen each other. And you remember that we did this once when we were carving pumpkins or something? Do you remember that? Yes, I do. <laughs> so this is my best friend, Charlotte. Like I said, she was my roommate junior year and we, Okay, this is how we met. We met in the same sorority, but like before that, because we went through recruitment at the same time, and we met in the recruitment line, and because our both of our last names are starting with a P. I feel like I meet a lot of my friends in the lines. <laughs> like me and Laura met in a line. 
of orientation. Really? Yeah. Maybe yeah. I'm just a good like conversation starter, you know? I also saw you like every day. Yeah. Because we were always in the same line. Mm -hmm. But no, you were a good conversation starter. Like Thanks. some people didn't want to talk, but I think it was like during recruitment. I'm like, we're just standing here. What are else are we gonna so do? Mean in the line because they think they're better than you. And those people, no offense, but they ended up in what they didn't think they would end up in. Let's just say that. They just didn't have a good attitude about it. Yeah, so we went through recruitment together, not like in the same like Rho Gamma group, but in different ones, but they would just always be in combined lines. And then we went, Katie, comment down below if you're Katie AOT. <laughs> And yeah, so that's how we met. We went to UCF, University of Central Florida in Orlando, and Charlotte's from Jacksonville. Yes. And I was St. Actually, Augustine, Jacksonville. But I was born in Jacksonville, so that's why I had to go to Florida for college because it was prepaid. Any regrets in college, things you wish you'd done or wish you didn't? I would say I wish I got involved more. Like, I honestly like wish I got involved with the student uh, what's it called student union like I wish I worked there because they all that seem so cool. like close-knit and like yeah. you know you're like cool on campus and like I don't know I just always thought they were cool um, so like either working there like on a marketing team or something but like I feel like I did a lot like I feel like I was involved as much as I could have been because I just like I don't know felt like I was like booked up every second which was great but that then like post grad, it was really hard for me to n feel like fulfilled because I didn't have anything to do every second. Yeah. So that kind of sucked. I think for me, one of mine is kind of like that I was because I was also like eight a.m. to like six p.m. Yeah, no, I was like yeah. <laughs> either working or like in a research lab or okay. studying or like doing something. And I don't feel like I missed out on fun stuff. Like, I still made it to every social. I still, yeah. like, I never said no to, like, doing things. I don't think. Did I? I Not think really. So. <laughs> I, I think I just did all of it. Yeah. But I, like, wanted to die. I was so stressed. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, I think it's not that I wish I would have cut back on, like, the academic stuff a little bit more so I could do fun stuff. Mm -hmm. I think I just wish I would have cut back a little bit so I wouldn't have been so stressed. Because I don't think I missed out on anything. Mm -hmm. I think it was just a lot. I feel and like in my opinion, like the classes I had A's in, yeah. if I just spent three less hours a week on them you and just chilled, I still would have had yeah. an A's. So I was like, I don't know why I'm like, like tried so hard. Yeah. yeah. Or like it would have been fine if I like needed a day off from one of my labs or my job. Like yeah. everybody was understanding. Yeah. But it, it was just me. I just couldn't stop myself. Right. <laughs> so I think I would have chilled out a little bit more about that. I think I would have gone out stress. more, to be honest. I feel like... <laughs> I think I was, it was the right amount for me. So we had two other best friends, Megan and Kaylin. Unfortunately, they couldn't be with us today because obviously they live in Florida. Um, Charlotte is in grad school. Kaylin's in PA school. Megan has an awesome marketing job. And so, yeah, that's what they're all doing. I feel like all of us were really chill. And like, we didn't like, we weren't crazy party animals really. But I kind of wish like... A little bit that we just went out more yeah. because now I look back especially during these COVID times I'm like shit I just wish we like went out like three times a week or like what but obviously you know we like there's sacrifices and that's why we did so good in school and that's why we were so involved because we obviously like made the sacrifices you know what I mean but okay maybe not three times a week but I just felt like I didn't go out as often Especially Summer B, if you guys go to UCF, you would know what Summer B is. I just feel like everyone went out every single night, and I did not at yeah. all, no, because I didn't know how no. to. I just kind of wish I went out more, just because, especially now, I feel like I'm such a waymo, and like, I don't go out now, really. What were y'all's go-to food spots in Orlando? Suicide. Three, two, one. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm coming Okay. Yeah. Suicide, suicide. Suicide Eat Station. Yeah. It's like a Poke Bowl, but not a Poke Bowl. It's like, put all this junk food seasoning. Yeah, it's literally like, like so good. Sushi. Sushi. Not a Poke. Yeah. It's different. It's definitely different. It doesn't taste as like fresh as Poke, which yeah. is what I love about it. <laughs> There's like... It made me feel, fried pieces. It like, made me feel like complete shit every fucking time I ate it, but it was so good. Next question is most embarrassing thing in college you did. You can go first. Can you think of 
anything? I don't know. <laughs> okay, first ever time I blacked out. Took, what, 10 tequila shots? Too many. Yeah. I don't know how many. Yeah, I don't know why I did it. Anyways, so <laughs> we were going to Gilt, and we were going to see Loud Luxury. They sang Body on My... Losing all my innocence. No, okay. And Anyways. at the time, that was the only song they sang. That. Like, that was the that only song. That and, like, song. one other song, but no one really. Maybe. Okay, but yeah. we were just waiting for Body. That yes. was it. That was the only song we wanted to hear. Yes. <laughs> and so we went to Gilt. You know, if you're, you go to UCF, RIP, apparently, she told me they closed. And when we got there, yeah, I don't remember anything else. And it's so sad because I feel so bad I took them away from the concert. <laughs> We were pretty bummed. I know. <laughs> and Feels me and so Megan, like, I'll be honest, we very rarely have, like, that much fun out. Yeah. You know? Like, yeah, me and Megan no, really don't have that much fun when we go out. And me and Megan were having so <laughs> much fun that night, and we never have that much fun. Oops. And then somebody was like, hey, guys, this is kind of your job. Like, if you're that person's, like, best friend, yeah. people come and tell you, like, yeah. hey, your friend. Right. It's like, whatever. So I think it was, like, Tiff or someone. I, or maybe it was younger girls, and they were like, "Hey, so yeah, now he's out on a curve." <laughs> like, I uh, that was my first time blacking out. I never even knew what that felt like. I don't understand when people are like, "Yeah, let's black out tonight." Like, who I wants to like feel that? that? No. Like, what is that? Some kind of freaking torture joke? Well, I guess the embarrassing part was going back to the sorority house because I lived there, and me just literally like being a fucking noodle because I didn't. I wasn't alive, apparently. Like, I literally no. look at pictures they took at me. I don't think I was alive that night. Um, but thank God I woke up this the next morning because I was filming the Spirit Splash because I was um, on the UCF social team, and I was the intern then, and I had a big day. I was using the big-ass Ronin. I will literally, like, insert video clips of me wanting to just, like, die because, first of all, it was, it was a lot. Of, it was very overwhelming because there's, like, thousands i don't know how many people were there but like wow. literally so many people just surrounding you so many so much loud music not a good scene for a hungover person let me tell you that especially because it was like it sunny was hot, and hot. Yeah. yeah yeah so i mean it doesn't sound very embarrassing but like the fact that i don't remember what happened and that my friends had to tell me what happened like literally makes me want to like cry and like that's a terrible feeling. Yeah. I feel like so many people think it's like so funny. That's why when it happens to them. They're like, oh my god, like I did that. And like yeah. to me, I'm like, oh, oh my yeah. god, like I don't. Which I didn't do anything that. crazy. I was just a noodle, like no, I said. But, but even like, it's like, it's, it's not a good uh, feeling to be a noodle. Like, like I don't. Yeah. I felt so bad. Charlotte Our, lived in the house three years, so she started yeah. sophomore year. So I lived in the house my sophomore year, and not a lot of sophomores live in the house. Yeah. So it's not like I had a lot of friends. Like I was still yeah. kind of young. Like. People didn't really like know me that much. Yeah. Like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, they obviously knew how I was because sure. I was living in the hospital. Like, we weren't like BFFs or anything. Mm -hmm. it, enough. I didn't know them enough to get super embarrassed about this. And so I forgot that we couldn't open our windows. Oh, yeah. And there was um, like a frat house across the street. <laughs> And they were having a said Yes. <laughs> and they were having like a EDC, not EDC, oh what's my it God, called? EDM. God, I don't know what it's called. Key West Fest? Key West Fest. Yeah, so they were having like a um, EDM house music like concert across the street and I didn't want to go by any means, but I <laughs> wanted to listen to it. So I opened my window to listen to it and you know how like EDM music and house music like sometimes has like the siren noises? Yeah. So our house alarm started going off and I thought because I that opened the windows weird. that it was the <laughs> sirens from the music across the street. So I was literally just sitting in my room looking out the window like that. <laughs> music while the alarm was blaring and then somebody came in my room and was like the alarm is going on and I was like what and I did not put two and two together that it was because of me because I opened the window and then our house mom wasn't there that night so it kept going off and we had to call the fire oh, department shit. to come turn it off because she couldn't turn it off because she was out of town and everybody was looking around like Oh my god, who set off the fire alarm? Like, that's so <laughs> annoying. And I didn't know it was me. Yeah. So I was sitting there like, I don't know. And then I realized it was me. And I asked my roommate, like, oh my god, do I say anything now? Because now it looks like I was lying. But I said it off and didn't know. So eventually I was like, guys, wait. I think it could have been me. Like, I happened to have opened my window. And then I think they charged me for that, too. <laughs> 
<laughs> so the sorority house is a grand old time. <laughs> Yeah, I was mortified. I think that may have been the most embarrassing. We're gonna end this Q&A and probably this video because all we're gonna do tonight is eat cake and probably watch something on TV. Subscribe and don't forget to turn on your post notifications to get notified for every video. I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.